Greetings, I am Harry Larry from Gary, and this is episode 1065 of The Sims 4 Gallery Lots. And this particular lot is called Post Apocalyptic Bar. It is on a 50 by 50 lot type bar, and boop, there is a description. You're more than welcome to read. And while you're doing that, I am going to look through these photos, see if it does the lot justice or not. Those first two kind of do. Yeah, those other ones don't really help. But, lot challenge is Quake Zone. So, let us go take a look at the real thing here. Oh, I'm almost done with this rainy day. Oh, that looks kind of cool. And this lot is playable. I couldn't. Oh, game paused on me. And this lot is playable. I did not find anything you need fixed to make it 100% playable. So that is always a good thing. Well, this looks really cool. So if you ever look for most of these buildings, I think most of them are from the Magic Pack and Get Famous, the Movie Pack one. I do believe that is Get Famous. Took me a little while to find the bathrooms. At first, I didn't think there was going to be any. But, luckily enough, behind these two doors, dun dun dun, and, yes, I am waving. You are more than welcome to wave back. Or not. Alright, we'll just bust through the wall, see if it looks a little different. Nope, the same, but still cool. Yeah, this place looks really cool. 
Alright, we're still on the outskirts before we even get to the bar. And we'll get to that here momentarily. Movie props. dead end. Ooh, a real building. So, looks like you can build something there if you so desire. Here's one from the Magic Pack. So, if you ever try to find these, look in Live Edit. And you should be able to find these buildings if you have the packs. video. I know, hard to believe, huh? We haven't even seen the bar yet. But, if you end up liking this lot and or video, you're more than welcome to give it a thumbs up. Ooh. If you like my videos and you're not a subscriber yet, you're more than welcome to subscribe. And, of course, that's kind of cool. See if I can find a good spot for it. And of course, you're more than welcome also to hit the notification bell or button, whichever you prefer. Normally, I publish three videos a day. Two from the gallery lots and one from Maxis. Right now, Maxis ones are a little bit on hold because I'm trying to finish out Strangerville playthrough. That's pretty cool. So when I get that done, I will end up posting the last lot. And then I'll be moving on to something else. If you have anything to say, please put it in the comments. And, of course, if you know anybody who would like to see this lot in video form, you're more than welcome to share this video. Sorry, I got distracted by the bowl of uh, noodles and all that. It's really cool. Alright, let's go take a look at the little gazebo area. Or at least your entertainment. So you do have a couple things to do here. Besides just drink. Basketball and dancing. One thing, since it was raining here. And there's no roof on this gazebo. At least I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Anyways. I had to rewind. But this jukebox right here ended up being on the fritz. So keep that in mind if you end up downloading this. That is so cool. And it does look pretty here at night. Surprised enough for a post apocalypse, they have electricity. See now, this is what I like right here. If you notice, all different types of chairs. Of course, nobody has a full set, and I like that. 
That's those little details that make lots really cool. Alright, here is the bar. So I have, um, I did uh, read the description, and I never played Fallout. So, does this look like any of the lots, for those of you who played it? Yeah, this is so cool. Alright, let's go for a top-down view, but before we do that, the most important thing of all is please take a look at this creator's other creations. That is a cute little spot right there. Before we go for a top-down view, let's take a little closer look at some of these buildings. Since this is uh, mostly shelves, we don't have to go around each building. But that does look really cool. Okay, no top down view. Hmm, looks like we do have a couple of buildings we can play with. So if you do want, you could probably put a cot or a bed, a little kitchen somewhere around here. That is if you don't want to hire uh, the vendors. Yeah, I like this place, and there is no basement, for those who are wondering. Wow, that looks so cool. All right. Find a good spot to showcase everything. Alright, I think that... Well, no, not really. I think I can do better. That is better. Come in a smidge. Alright. So hopefully I'll catch you on the next episode. And until then, later.